Hi, this is Tuan. This is Hein. We are from Legion, Legion of, of the Damned. Damned. You're, You're watching, watching Guitar, Guitar Mania, Mania Channel. Channel. Welcome to Vienna. Uh, you're almost halfway through the tour. How's it going so far? Well, uh, it's going pretty smoothly, uh, I think. Yeah, we're enjoying ourselves and everybody's very down to earth. Also, the guys from Sepultura, Flossum and Jetsum are all very relaxed. The guys from Artillery are doing their first tour as well as Heinz. So, yep. a few newcomers on tour as well, and they are all very down to earth. Everything is good. Mm -hmm. Relaxed. Mm -hmm. Hi, I understand you joined Legion of the Damned now for the live performances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In uh, December 2012, I uh, did an audition to uh, become the second live guitar player. And in 2013, I uh, already did some festivals, also the Wacken Open Air, Party Song, Metal Days. And now this, uh, this tour is uh, the first big adventure for me, so it's, uh, I'm learning a lot. And uh, like, yeah, like Tuan said, the atmosphere is very down to earth. So it's, uh, yeah, we, we, we're going along pretty well. Excellent, excellent. We understand Richard uh, left the band, mm -hmm. and, and, and now you're the new guitarist, and uh, first of all, I think congratulations are in order because it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a fantastic new album. I think it's one of, of, the, of the best in the band's history. Wow, um, thank you. How did you feel taking over from Richard, and what was your approach for, for writing songs for the new album? Uh, first of all, um when Richard left, he left a big um, legacy, the way he wrote his riffing style. So we had to keep in mind to not lose that. And of course, my inspiration comes from different bands than Richard's. Some are similar, similar. Uh, but I tried to um, add some new uh, elements in the sound, like some more melodies, maybe some more darkened uh, melodies as well, to create a more uh, open atmosphere and to, uh, yeah, to take it to another level. Mm -hmm. one way or another. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did you guys decide what, what Hein will be playing live and what, which parts you will be playing? I mean, what's the division of labor? You know, when we, uh, when uh, Tuan taught me how to play the new songs, there, yeah, more or less automatically we found a way of, of the, the, two, the two guitar lines. Like for example, uh, uh, yeah, of course his solos are his solos. But in uh, uh, Mountain Wolves Under the Crescent Moon, there's also a small solo which uh, Harold, uh, the bass player, wrote. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing that one live just, just because it feels that way. It's, it feels it's, natural. Yeah, it feels natural. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also, like, the, there are some, some twin melodies and everything. And yeah, then Tom plays the original line, and I pick up the, 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 the double line or other way around. It just. Just, just how, how, yeah, how the, the feeling is best. Mm -hmm. Twan, how long uh, did it did you guys, did it take you guys to record the new album? I think we were in the studio for four weeks, I think, in total. For, four weeks, okay. And uh, I understand it was produced again by Andy Klassen. Yeah. Yeah, and and you again have chosen the stage one studio. Yes, because it was time to go back to the, the roots of Legion. Uh -huh. This was a very important album. Uh, after Descent into Chaos, we've done with Peter, or they have done with Peter Tegren. Um, it just felt like we needed to go to uh, the basics of Legion, also because of me being a new member, and to keep the kind of family thing uh, on this album going, mm -hmm. to make it a mm -hmm. rough, aggressive, real true Legion album, uh -huh. as well as with new elements, but still from Legion basics. Mm -hmm. Let us talk briefly about your equipment uh, that you guys use uh, in, in the studio and then also live. Perhaps we start with you, Tuan. What did you use in the studio? Well, we, uh, we had three, uh, uh, three apps. It was uh, an angle, which I use uh, also for live uh, uh, performance. Yeah. We have the Blackstar and we have, uh, had a Marshall just to try things out. And eventually we had, I think, two uh, parts on the Black Star, and uh, for some parts of some solos, we took the Marshall sound. We have a nice uh, natural combination of mm -hmm. sounds. Yeah. And in terms of pedals, any pedals there? I use this like I've got this tuner. I've got a, a digital reverb, and I've got a, just a, no, a noise gate. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then let the angle crunch the shit up. Yeah. Excellent. And, and you're also playing a Les Paul, if... Yeah, I have a Les Paul at home. 
Uh -huh, because but, I, and, and the, oh yeah, I tried. I did Les Paul with the recordings on the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So I have the ESP for the solos, and I have for the rhythms. I took the Gibson. Yeah. Because I think it's like bigger and warmer sounding. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and live, what do you play live? ESP. ESP. The Alexi uh, the bottom. Oh, the Alexi uh, signature. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. It just looks killer and and it sounds amazing. It's got a lot of attack. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, what about you? Um, I play on a Koch power tone. Koch is a, is a, a Dutch company, a small company. Very underestimated because the quality is really good. The difference between the, the Angle Invader and the Koch power tone is that the, 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 the Angle has a lot of, a lot of boost, a lot of force. And uh, the Koch is a bit, um, it goes a bit deeper. It has more yeah, bass-like bass punch instead of only the aggression. So the the two the two amps it's, it's surprising it's it's, yeah yeah it's heavier yeah but the, the it surprises that the two amps the two sounds do com complete each the other very well clock. yeah the angle and the yeah. clock complete each other very well and that's that's really cool a uh, lot to, to yeah to have the contrast on the live sound okay but it's to, together they're really really powerful for forward sound mm -hmm. how many guitars do you uh, guys bring on tour cool. um, uh, we we both bring uh, two guitars on tour mm -hmm. and uh, I have an uh, uh, ESP. Uh, Explorer, mm -hmm. the, uh, j just a black one. It's a s solid bridge, so no, no, no float, no float rows. Just the, the the basics of the guitar because I, I I'm ki kind of a rough player and I don't like to uh, to have uh, m more moving parts than necessary. And uh, as a backup, I a backup I have an uh, also an Explorer, but from the LTD. Both the guitars with uh, EMG 81. And I think AMG 85 on the on the neck, but I only use the the, the bridge element. Right. Perhaps one last question or two last questions. One is what, on what music did you guys grow up? What would your let's say three favorite albums, Twan? For me, it's like Hello Waits from Slayer. It is None Shall Defy, Infernal Majesty, and I'd say Malaeus Maleficarum from Pestilence. Okay. Hi. Um, I grew up with um, uh, Made in Japan from The Purple. Mm -hmm. um, the, the first really, really thrash album was uh, Ride the Lightning from Metallica. Uh, something I, uh, I, uh, I listen a lot on, on this moment, it's uh, the latest album of uh, Warbringer. Hmm. So, uh, I, uh, I don't uh, remember the name at the moment, but uh, I listen to uh, a lot. They've recently, or they're still on tour with Ice Earth, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah mm. that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in terms of uh, uh, becoming a good thrash metal guitarist, lead player, rhythm player, it, was there a particular song or, or riffs that you learned that you thought were particularly helpful in developing your skills and your abilities as a guitarist? One. Well, I listen to a lot of Sadus, so speed metal, just like, but then on the strings, speed, speed, speed. Sadus was a good. Uh, yeah, sparring partner for me. Fil one. Filthy music. Yeah. Okay. And Hein, what about you? Um, yeah, there were a lot of things. Uh, for example, uh, Judas Priest Painkiller. It's uh, it's uh, one of the albums where, where I learned how, how to, to riff a proper heavy metal song. But also uh, the old Metallica, uh, Pantera. It's, uh, it's also a great influence for me. But the um, uh, hard work for, from car for Carcass. There's the, 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 the groovy, groovy Powerful uh, riffing in it, and yeah, it's 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 it's, it's all uh, ri pretty uh, rhythmic. But one is more uh, more uh, the, the, the the atmospheric side of the. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, my roots are pretty pretty much uh, just straightforward, no compromise. <laughs> yeah. Anything you would like to uh, tell our readers and 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 and, and uh, our audience um, about the new album? About the new album, I would say. You'll just buy the motherfucker, he's gonna rip your fucking face off. Six. Okay, we cut that stand. <laughs> <laughs>